Welcome to Risk 66 Accelerated Training Video on Projecting Losses When There Is Incomplete Loss History. I'm Tim Coomer. Let's get started. The normal methodology for projecting losses involves reviewing historical losses and exposures in order to determine a loss rate. Ideally, five to six years of history is available for review. As long as an organization possesses credible loss history, and see our training video on sending data to Sigma, using its own loss history will generally produce the most accurate loss projection. However, when there's incomplete or no loss history available, an actuary may have to employ other techniques. The simplest technique is to go ahead and use the incomplete loss history while recognizing its inherent limitations. Without five to six years of history, the actuary may be concerned that the loss history isn't credible. If the actuary feels that the loss history, though incomplete, is the best indication of future results, this history may still be used. Often the actuary will supplement this with another loss projection technique. Sometimes incomplete loss history is available for a new organization, but more complete history is available for its predecessors. We often see this after an acquisition or merger of some type. Another scenario may occur when an insured is moving to a new retention limit. They may not have any loss experience in the new loss layer above their old retention limit. In this case, a benchmark increased limits factor may be used to estimate losses at the new limit. Another possibility is that the actuary may simply want to consult some benchmark loss rates within the industry. When considering a benchmark, care must be taken to ensure that the organizations are as similar as possible. A more complicated method involves the actuary simulating losses based on certain assumptions. An actuary can reach an estimate of the range of the number of occurrences expected and the range of severities expected per occurrence. Based upon these assumptions, an actuary can simulate several possible scenarios while varying the frequency and severity expectations. Using these scenarios, the actuary can develop a central estimate and a range of possible outcomes. In conclusion, while complete loss history is preferable in completing a loss projection, other alternatives are available in making an initial loss projection. When utilizing the secondary techniques, it is important to recognize the weaknesses of the projection and be willing to consider the developed loss history as soon as it becomes available. For expanded information, see the resources listed along with this video or contact Sigma Actuarial Consulting Group at support at sigmaactuary.com. Thank you for taking time to watch this Projecting Losses When There's Incomplete Loss History training video from Risk 66.